so let's understand uh, the certification format and structure for github copilot certification there will be a multiple choice uh, question that will be coming in this certification you will be given around 1 hour to 1 and 1/2 hour there will be 40 to 50 question and it will be a multiple choice question coding scenario fill in the blanks drag and drop matches and there could be some question on the hands on exercise and maybe case based scenario uh these are the high level topics which will be covered uh but i will be showing you separately the topics so on a high level you should know how to use copilot using natural language uh how to use the github copilot uh ui that is a chat how to use github copilot using ide uh using um copilot uh, cli uh different version and what are the features like for the enterprise teams personal and what are the best practices and how to use ai responsibly now let's see quickly uh, the detailed uh, course and the topic which will be covered in this certification so you can see uh, these are the domain breakdown for your github certification and most of the topics will be from github copilot plans and features as well as how github copilot works and how it handles the data then the third most uh, important topic is developer use cases how developer uses uh, github copilot for their uh, needs uh, it can be from their id it can be from github cli it can be directly from github ui so there are different uh, places and the use cases uh, and then the privacy and how to exclude the context uh from the github copilot how you can use it uh securely and maintain your privacy uh responsible ai which is the basic uh, concept for the ai and once you go down you will see in detail i will be sharing this link in the resource section so you can see uh every domain has a detailed uh you know chapters or the topics which will be covered under this so i will just show you a glimpse very important about the github cli which is included in 2025 so this is very important to understand read and spend some time how to use github copilot chat in the id your uh, visual studio for example how to use github copilot for non github customer there could be possibility that you are not using github as a uh, your repository but still you can use the github copilot and very important different uh, copilot version like individual business enterprise you know and how the features will be different in the different version so these type of topic you should be uh, comfortable with and then uh, what are the different feature as i said like uh, in github enterprises you can even uh, you know ask uh, github copilot to explain the pull request summaries uh, you can target a individual file and ask question based on that and even the knowledge uh, base for example code snippet best practices you can uh, store those things in the knowledge base uh, so this type of topic you should be uh, having understanding to answer in the question uh, answer in the certification then the use cases very important how uh, developer uses github copilot in different scenario uh, in the chats what are the limitations so these are the topic uh, best practices slash command also is a new feature added like using a slash you can uh, give the commands to github copilot to target a specific prompt uh, then you have uh, how github copilot handles data for example uh, if you do not want github copilot to use your data for the training purpose you can specify that so those are the settings uh, you can study here and then data pipeline life cycle of the github copilot so uh, you need to uh, understanding uh, having a basic understanding of uh, how uh, github copilot understand the context how it uh, you know build the response build the suggestion uh, for your question so those kind of topics are covered here and then uh, what are the limitation of course uh, it may not work in all the scenario so what are the different uh, scenario where it may or may not work so those kind of question uh, topics will be covered here then you have uh, 
the prompt engineering like uh, what are the best uh, practices to give the prompt or the uh, text in the uh, github copilot so all those topics will be covered here fundamentals of prompt engineering uh, this is a very good knowledge to have even not with the github copilot in the other ai tools uh, you will be having a basic understanding of the prompt engineering and then uh, the developer use cases like uh, the different use cases how they are going to use different programming languages framework uh, even how to debug the code and create your unit test cases uh, your context switching documentation purpose also and the code refactoring understanding of the code data science so those kind of topics will be covered here and the last topic is the testing so even the qa uh, or the testing uh, developer related the testing also can use this how they can create unit test cases how they can uh, you know understand what are the edge cases and create those test cases uh, assertion then how uh, github copilot suggests those test cases so those type of topics will be covered here and then uh, you have privacy fundamental and uh, fundamentals and context exclusion so yeah this is another which i already explained uh, so yeah this is the last uh, domain so you need to go in depth and uh, github has a self learning part also through which you can you know understand these parts so github copilot provide a learning path you can go here and check out like uh, the different section where you can learn it yourself this is of course comes under the microsoft learning so this is a very good uh, self learning part you can uh, you know uh, get uh, familiar with all the basic concept so let's move to the next section